everyone, it's Mio, and today I have a decorating tutorial for you. As you can see, I'm going to show you how to decorate your own cute little cap to have this really cute Japanese great white shark eating a very happy seal. This character name is Samezu, and as you can tell, it's a really happy great white shark that tries very hard to eat this really cute seal but has difficulty getting to it. It's very comical, really adorable, and I love this character so much that I decided to create a really cute baseball cap out of it. I decorated my cap in a way that it would look very happy, really fresh, really modern. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and like if you haven't already. And do follow me on social media websites such as Instagram and Twitter for more. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? You're going to need to start off with a plain baseball cap. I got this white one from my local craft store for $2.99. You can get ones in different colors, but I got this plain white one because it was the only one that I was happy with. And I'm basing the drawing that I have based off of this really cute book with Samizu and his friends. As you can see, Samizu has a lot of different type of shark friends, like a hammerhead shark, a whale shark, and a lot of the comics is focused on him trying to eat this really cute happy seal. But I really love the one on the front cover the most. So I'm just taking a pencil and drawing in the front iconic picture that I see on this book and it doesn't really have to be perfect because you're really going to paint over it. I'm not using any special technique, I'm really just freehanding and drawing the shark character like I see on the book and I decided to add some words to the cap because I think it adds a lot of character and a pop of color to the cap because sometimes you don't see the top. For the paint, I'm using some fabric paint. I really recommend this because it's less likely to wash off if it gets wet. Acrylic paint, a lot of them are washable. And I like to mix my paint colors. I'm just using white and blue to mix it into a really pretty baby blue color. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You just can go ahead and paint away. It doesn't have to be perfect and you can always paint over your mistakes. So that's a really nice thing about painting in general. Just make sure that you put in a really nice thick opaque coat and you really cover all of the area so it looks really nice and professional. Try your best to stay within the lines that you drew earlier, but it doesn't, again, have to be perfect because you can always paint over it. And I decided I really want this cap to have a lot more color, so I'm going to paint the actual rim part of the cap. And one of the tricks I like to do is use a paper towel and wipe off all the excess paint because paint can really layer up on top of each other. And although the fabric paint I'm using is a matte color, when it has different layers of paint on a piece of fabric, it can really have a glossy shine to it. So by removing the extra paint, it really gives it a nice matte uniform color. I'm using a tinier paintbrush with some black paint and I'm going to very gently and very very carefully paint in the finer details. You didn't have to be so accurate earlier but for the outlining I would say take your time and make sure you're really painting this very carefully. If you have a mistake you can always cover it with some white paint that matches the background but it's really honestly just easier for you to be careful when you're outlining everything with the black paint. Although the video is going by pretty quickly, I would say this process took me maybe an hour to really make sure everything's colored in the way I want it and spending a lot of time on the finer details. So be sure that you take your time putting in all the fine details and making it look very similar to the character that you want. So this is what my hat looks like so far. This is actually my second round because the first time I did this, I wasn't really happy with how the coloration looks like. So as you might see, a slight discrepancy in the color. But after I painted in my character, I decided I wanted to write in a few words on the side to copy just what is written on the book because I think it makes it look a little more detailed and looks a little more professional. And I decided I wanted words on the actual top part of the cap as well just to add a little more detail and a little more color onto it. I just think it looks much better this way. So with the pencil, I'm just going to write in the title of the book and kind of outline where it's supposed to look like before I paint it in with a darker blue paint. If you don't want to put the title on the cap, you don't have to. I just think it looks really nice. But if you want to personalize it, you absolutely can. You can put your name, you can put you know, the name of the person you're gifting it to. You can write all different types of things. I just think it's cute to put the title on the top of the cap and the bottom of the cap. The only difference is that the top part, I put it in a deep blue color with a white outline. And the back part is actually just a light blue color with a dark blue outline. But just like I outlined my shark earlier, I like to use a finer paintbrush and take my time 
making sure that the outline really looks clean and nice so I don't have to correct any mistakes later. So this is pretty much what the front part or the top part of my cap looks like and now I'm going to work on the back and I went ahead and painted the title in a light blue color and as you can see earlier I had a little bit of mistake and I just took some white paint and painted over it and I just felt like it looked really empty on the bottom so I decided to paint in a water splash. I printed something that looks very similar to what I saw in a few pages of the book and I added a little bit of white paint on the edges to make it look very shiny and animated. And that is pretty much how I created this really cute cap. The only thing I didn't film is I painted the top button of my cap a light blue color and let this sit for about a whole day without touching it to let everything really dry. And I really love how this hat came out. I think it looks so professional like something you would buy at a store and it's super cute. I'm just absolutely obsessed with this new cute little character. I love this character so much because I love the idea of this really menacing great white shark that is trying his best to capture this seal that seems oblivious to the fact that it's actually prey and the idea just seems really adorable to me and like I said earlier I love how this hat turned out I think it makes a great gift and again for more videos like these please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already I'm gonna try my best this year to post a brand new video every week usually around the weekend time so please stay tuned for more videos and again if you want to check out more things that I've created check out my Instagram and my Twitter account and I'll have previews of more future videos to come thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll catch you guys soon bye